Okay, so this is a quick demonstration of Skype on um, Chromebook. As you can see, that's me, or that's the camera that's filming this. And it's currently in a video call with this phone here. So it works rather well. And just to prove I am actually using a uh, Chromebook, just to end the call there. Um, this is my Samsung Chromebook. It's quite an old Chromebook now. It didn't sell very well. Um, because it was too high spec. Look at all the dirt on there, that's terrible. This is my little Chromebook, and uh, it's what I do a lot of my uh, smartphone work on. What I'm going to do is show you the entire installation from scratch um, using all the bits from Cool Smartphone. So I'm going to remove the um, Skype um, stuff on here. So now I've just got a standard Chromebook, nothing special about it at all. I haven't done anything to it. I'll turn it off just to show you. It is indeed um, a Samsung Chromebook, as you can see here. Nothing special about it at all. I haven't done anything weird with it. It's um, my favourite sort of um, little laptop netbook style thing because it just it just works straight away, very very easily indeed. I've got a couple of uh, accounts on here, and I'll just log in and get straight into the uh, browser provided I've put the right password in of course and uh, we'll go to um, Cool Smartphone and I put all the instructions on here on how to do this so if you uh, if you ever get stuck just go to the site it's all on there and I've detailed all this in a post here how to do it in 10 easy steps so go on to uh, Cool Smartphone just do a search for Skype on a Chromebook and you'll find uh, the details there now I've already downloaded these files here, This it needs this runtime file here, it's a bit hard for you to see but obviously go to the site. And you also need the zip file which contains the APK which is an Android app um, to make all this work. So if I go into my file manager you should see those two things sitting in my downloads folder. So we've got uh, quite a lot of other stuff in here too. But um, let me go down. If I do a search by type, you can see here that's my unpacked uh, Vladikov Archon. That's a 64 bit uh, runtime. And this is my unpacked Skype folder. So, what I've done is I've downloaded both of those zip files from the site. I've not just opened them because obviously, you know, when you download with Chromebook, you can open files. So, let's say if I open up uh, this one here. It opens here. What I've actually done to um, extract it is to copy that and then go to downloads and then pasted it in there like that. And then that means it's unpacked forever. It's not just unpacked temporarily, it's unpacked forever. So that's what I've done. The next step is to go to the burger menu as they call it. It's on the top right here of your Chrome uh, window. You go to more tools, you go to extensions and you make sure there's a tick here where it says developer mode otherwise without that you're not going to get any of these options that you see here so you click load unpacked extension and then you go to your folder which is called Vladikov and you double click or you, sorry you single click that and you, you click open you'll get a red message on there don't worry too much about that and then you go load unpacked extension again and you open up the Skype folder which you downloaded and that is literally it you can either launch it from there or you can go to your standard um, sort of menu down there and it opens up Skype which uh, this is a slightly different version this is a tablet version but uh, it, the first time it loads it will take ages to load up unfortunately it does take a good 20-30 seconds to fire up uh, you have to put your credentials in, obviously. That then takes a few more seconds than it does do on the native Android handsets and uh, tablets. But uh, then you can use it, um, just as I have been doing, to um, log in. And uh, you can use a Skype name, Skype account. I'm just going to log in there. I'll put in my details here. This is, by the way, this is our Skype address. If you ever need us, it's just a cool smartphone. I think I've got my password correct. I've probably got it wrong. I'm going to log in there, click sign in, 
it'll take a long time to sign in and then um, we'll be able to hold a phone conversation with that Samsung Android handset that uh, I showed you at the start of this video so we just wait for it to sign in again this does take a long time don't give up leave it go and have a cup of tea give it a few seconds I realize this isn't ideal but uh, it's better than not having it at all you can see there it's actually popped out and it says Skype is available it's uh, showing outside of the main window so now we can do another phone call and uh, it should work let me just try that again so if I go to recent uh, gears test I think actually that's not the account I used but um, here we go if I do a phone call from the phone I'm going to call it from the phone now and it should hopefully um, pop up on this screen it seems to be taking a while oh there we go so that uh, there we go had a little bit of a think about it but you can see there's a, oh, a phone call, let's mute it, and we can then do a video call again. Let's turn on the video call, takes a few seconds just to synchronize up, and you should see um, the windows when they do eventually synchronize, there you go, you should be able to see my hands now waving. There you go, so that's uh, getting Skype working on a Chromebook.